By the end of this episode, will you be asking, what the heck is a huck? Or are you going to have a drop the mic row fiber moment? WCR Window Cleanse Versa Series coming at you. Let's go. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, so let's get into it, shall we? We'll get right into it. And first, we're going to talk about uh, the Huck towels. These are cotton towels, and you can see that there's two different shades of blue. There's a dark blue that has kind of like a rougher weave to it. And then you have the light blue, which has a more spaced out weave to it. Uh, first thing you want to know about a microfiber is what is it? Well, a microfiber is, it's got all sorts of tiny fibers. It's not just one solid thing. And so uh, it increases the scrubbing power, the absorption, and it also increases its cleaning power. Brands of microfiber. So I have different brands here. We have the facelift fish scale. We have the Home Depot fish, fish scale type. This is um, an Ederay micro wipe. This is the Unger uh, 4000 micro swipe and then this is a pro microfiber and then finally we have the Unger Ninja so our rating system goes one to five the higher the score the better so we rate the absorbency of a microfiber versus a huck towel uh, as a five microfiber gets five it's going to be able to absorb a lot of water and the th but the thing is that it's also going to hold that water the Huck Towel itself, uh, we rate with absorbency as a three. So what that means too, is that if you're wiping your ledges with a Huck Towel, because it's not absorbing the water as fast, you're gonna get some of it that kicks up back up on the bottom of the glass. And so that's something to consider. Abrasiveness. So among the microfibers, there are different uh, degrees of abrasiveness. So your most abrasive is going to be an 80-20 blend that has a loop weave. That's going to be really good. If you just tap that against your t your scrubber sleeve and then you wipe that on fingerprints, that's going to do a good job getting, getting rid of fingerprints. And I know a couple of window cleaners, professional window cleaners, who swear by a damp microfiber rag to use as their abrasive. So look for that if you want abrasiveness. The fish scale and the, the ninja, they're more um, of a detailing rag or some might say a polishing rag, but uh, they're not gonna offer much in the way of abrasiveness. And so we uh, rated the, these as a whole a five on abrasiveness and we rated the Huck Towel does have abrasiveness, but we gave that a two. Let's talk about the care of each towel. The Huck Towels, you're gonna to wanna to wash in warm water. <clears throat> if you wash them in hot water, it will uh, break down the weave quicker. And then you can dry them on high. And so that is an advantage. You don't wanna use fabric softener, but you may use bleach in cleaning these. And so we rate the care of these as a five because they are pretty easy to care for. The microfibers on the other hand, uh, you don't want, you, you can wash them in hot water, but you don't want to dry them on high heat because what you're dealing with is not a cloth fiber. You're dealing with uh, a polymer, polyester, so it will melt it. And then those fibers will meld together and you'll lose the effectiveness of the microfiber and you may even risk scratching any surface that you use it on because they harden. They also say that by boiling them in water it helps relax the fibers and release whatever is inside of them and so I actually did this and you'll see this was a experiment I performed a while back and look at the color of the water there. So <laughs> boiling does work it just may not be the most practical so if you wash them Wash them separately than, th from everything else. Don't wash them with anything else except microfibers because they will attract the dirt <laughs> from the other items that are in the wash with them. Wash them on hot, no fabric softener and no bleach. That's important. And then when you dry them, you wanna dry them not on high heat, but on a lower heat. 
So the water will not melt it, but the, the hot air will melt the microfiber. And so we rate this, when it comes to care, uh, one to five, we rated this as a three. And now we come to the one that we all really want to know about, and that is detailing. So I really gave them an equal score. Gave them an equal score. If you're going to detail the edges of your window, you probably want either the fish scale or the Unger Ninja. Uh, the Huck Towels do a good job too. You know, they do a great job. I guess it's just what you can afford and what your preference is. So I gave them both a score of four. They tied. One thing you have to keep in mind is like, if you're, this is a 70-30 blend, so it's gonna be more absorbent. The water is going to, um, it's gonna hold the water more. And so as that starts to get wet, it's gonna do a poorer job of detailing because it's gonna leave more water on the window. Whereas these, um, these cheaper loop ones actually evaporate quicker and so you might find that these do a better job because they don't hold on to the water as long talk about cost uh, we rated the huck towels at a five and we rated the microfibers at a three for cost and so huck towels won that matchup and you can see here uh, the prices that are available at wcr at their store the microfibers are going to run you in quite a range. The Pro microfiber you can get for a, you know a little over a buck each. So it's a nice inexpensive way to introduce yourself to the product. Whereas if you're talking about the Unger Ninja, these are going to be, you know, 10, 11, 12 dollar uh, items a piece, especially for the big ones. I will say this too, go for the bigger size. Definitely go for the bigger size. The smaller sizes just don't feel right in hand. Like this size, to me, just doesn't feel, there's a feel about it when I'm cleaning or when I'm using it. Uh, I just, I, I like the bigger size. And so like this, uh, this facelift uh, fish scale, nice and big. And if it is gonna be absorbing a lot of water and holding on to it, then you kind of want more sur more surface area for yourself so you, you're going to end up buying two anyway you know what i'm saying so and then there's one other concern that we want to address and that's environmental and so i gave the huck towel a four which was a very good rating but the microfibers actually got a, a rating of one and that is because in the wash the the little microfibers actually uh tend to break off of the of the towel go into the water uh, system and then they're carrying whatever dirt and toxins are in them and then the uh, marine life fish will swallow them and will get poisoned by whatever is in them so in addition to that it requires petroleum to make nylon so for those reasons uh, some people may choose not to use a microfiber if you're environmentally conscious and that's important to you then these don't rate very high so if you were to purchase a microfiber which one out of the ones that we talked about would i recommend buying well as an introductory level microfiber i would say get the pro it's a, it's an 80 20 blend it's got a loop weave it's it feels pretty good and it's going to give you that balance of abrasiveness and absorption that you may be looking for and it's very inexpensive you can buy a couple of them and uh, test them out and see if you like them they're very similar to the Edorays. I, I really there's really almost virtually no difference in feel to them and they're the same blend so why not just go with the cheaper one the one I personally like the best is for cleaning is the Unger 4000 micro swipe that's my personal preference for regular cleaning and for detailing, I do like the Unger Ninja towel. I mean, this just has a, such a nice feel to it. Like you would want a shirt made of this. That's how nice it feels. So I wanna thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Verses. And we wanna encourage you to subscribe to WCR and subscribe to all the creators who are here on the Window Cleaning Resource YouTube channel. I'm Jordy, wishing you a great day in your business. You have a good day and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. 
If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if a life without Jordy is unbearable, check out his YouTube channel at The Window Cleanse on YouTube. Think of a potato. A potato. Potatoes. Potatoes. A potato.